Solve the following differential equation, dy over dx plus y equal to x. So, ang next na tubuhaton is, if dili ganit siya variable separable, if dili siya homogeneous equation, and if dili siya exact differential equation, ang next na to na option is katong integrating factors. So, ang sa integrating factor, magamit ni mo siya pag first, first order linear DE siya class, uh, mean ko say, kapag katong gihatag na equation sa problem, is ma-write ni mo siya sa inani na form. So, you have dy over dx, that's dy over dx. So, this is y, so that's p function of, p of x, y, so, this is your y, tapos imong p of x in this case is 1, nakafollow lang. So, again, that's plus y. So, imong p of x is katong 1, ang 1 lang, tas mo na imong y, equal to x. So, ang imong x, that's your q of x. Okay, so, meaning to say, akong point lang, kaning gihatag na problem sa, ah, kaning gihatag na equation sa problem is nasulat na to siya in this form, ang dy over dx plus p of P, P, Y equal to Q of X. Okay? Now, next is, ang integrating factor mang good, ang iyahang formula is kaning E raised to the integral of P of X dx. X, P dx. E raised to the integral of P of X dx. Okay? So, in this case, atong P of X is pilagi ito, 1. Tama? 1 lang. Dili ang Y ha. Dili labot ang Y. Okay? Ang Y mo na siya. Mong P of X is katong 1 lang. Kani. Okay, so, substitute na siya sa equation sa integrating factor. So, you have E raised to the integral of 1 dx. So, integral of dx is equal to x. So, your integrating factor is E raised to x. Okay, that's your integrating factor. Now, ang next step ninyo bahat nun is, kanang integrating factor na to, okay, i-multiply na to siya sa original equation na to, which is kani siya. The reason... Nga nung i-multiply na to siya sa ato ang original equation is, di ba, atong original equation is dili siya exact. So, mag-multiply ka integrating factor para kato imuhang equation karon is mahimo na siyang exact. From non-exact, nag-times ka integrating factor, nahimo siyang exact DE. Okay? So, multiply. You have e raised to x, dy over dx plus e raised to xy equal to x, e raised to x. Okay? So, karon ha, before ta mag-move forward sa solution, i-prove sa nato class na this is an exact DE. Okay? Para makita na to na yes, exact DE na siya. So, again ha, mauna yung equation. Simplify lang class. Kani, gitranspose lang sa PCAS. Mauna na siya. Then, gigroup po lang. Gisimplify lang. So, you have e raised to xy minus x e raised to x dx. Mauna siya. Times kaning dx. Okay? Tapos, kani e raised to x dy mo na siya. Okay? Then, di ba, naanata sa form na m dx plus n dy, this is your m dx plus n dy equal to 0. So, meaning to say, pwede ta mag-exact de, kay na arrange na siya in this form. Tama? So, to check for the exactness, di ba, dap dapat the partial derivative of m with respect to y must be equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So, get sa na to ang partial derivative of m with respect to y. So, kanisya siya class, kuha na to iyahang partial derivative with respect to y. Meaning to say, ang y imong itreat as variable, imong x as constant. So, kung y is itreat ni mo variable, then ang um, pag i-derive ni mo ni siya class, that's e raised to x. Okay, again ha, you treat x as a constant. So, this is treated as a constant. This is your variable. So, pag i-derive ni mo na siya class, ang mabilin is e raised to x. Pero, kaning-kaning x e raised to x, constant man atong pag-treat ana. So, zero lang na siya. So, wala siya diri a. Okay, so the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to e raised to x. Now, how about the partial derivative of n with respect to x? So, meaning to say, with respect to x, meaning to say, si x, imuhang itreat as the variable and y as your constant. So, the derivative of e raised to x is just simply e raised to x. Tama? So, e raised to x is equal to e raised to x. Meaning to say, kanina equation karon after multiplying it with the integrating factor, exact na siya. Okay, again ha? After ni mo siya i-multiply sa integrating factor, nahi mo siyang exact. 
Okay, so moving forward. Though, dili to siya part sa solution ha. Kaning nakabox sa red. Di, prove lang yun na to na yes, nahimo siyang exactly. Pero dili yun siya part sa tong solution. Okay, so moving forward class. From our equation, ganina. Okay, so. Okay. So, pag i-derive ni mo si e raised to x, kani siya. Okay, times y. Again ha, e raised to x times y. So, ka remember mo product rule, di ba? Ang product rule is u dv plus v du lang class. So, pag ang integrating factor na to na e raised to x, multiply na to kay y, kani siya. So, pag i-product rule ni mo na siya class, unsay iyahang answer. So, wait lang ha. Let, let our u be equal to e raised to x. So, du, du ni siya. Derive ni mo ang e raised to x is t raised to x. Let your v equal to y. So, derive ni mo si dv, that's dy over dx. So, butang na to siya diri a class. So, pag i-derive ni mo si e raised to x times y, that's equal to e raised to x, dy over dx, tama? Plus e raised to x, y. Now, Di ba ka ni class? Okay, medyo kalat no. Kaya nagsulat-sulat ko. Wait, erase na ako. Okay. So, di ba? Ka ni class. Ka ni atong nakuha sa UDV plus VDU na to. It's just equal ani niya. Tama? Again ha. Pag mag-product rule ka sa imong e raised to x times y, ang answer ni mo is ka ni siya, which is basically mao ni siya. Tama? So, kani atong equation karon na nakuha, kani-kani siya. Pwede na to siya i-rewrite as, okay, derivative of e raised to x times y, kani, is equal to x e raised to x, kaning-kaning nabilin diri a. Ah. Muna siya. Uh, uh, Nakafollow lang, so, balik ta. Again ha, kani siya, pwede lang na to siya i-rewrite into this manner. Okay, di ba? Pag imuha ni siyang ipadak rule, equal lang manggihapon sa ana. Then, kani, copy lang ni Derea. Okay? So, ang next na tubuhaton is, let's uh, integrate. Okay? So, narewrite na na to ha siya in this way. So, na na narewrite na to siya. Next na tubuhaton is ito integrate. So, integral of the derivative of something. So, makansel lang na siya. Integral times, i-integrate ni mo ang derivative of something, makansel lang na siya class. So, cancel lang na. Now, integral of x e raised to x dx. So, I think mag, in, tawag ani, integration by parts, may tayo tawag ani. So, you have uv minus integral of v du. So, integration by parts niha. So, let your u equal to x. Let your du equal to dx. Let your v equal to e raised to x. So, dv ni mo is e raised to x dx. Substitute lang siya diri a class. Tanan ni siya. Na akay x e raised to x minus integral of e raised to x dx. So, kani siya, pag integrate din mo na, integral of e raised to x is simply e raised to x. Again ha, the integral of e raised to x is just e raised to x. So, you have the integral of x e raised to x dx is simply equal to x e raised to x minus e raised to x plus c. Okay? So, kani siya, Ang final answer na niya is kani. Again ha? Kaning integral of a derivative na cancel lang na siya sa. So, mao ni siya. E raised to xy. While the integral of kani is mao na siya. So, kana. Okay? So, simplify lang na to class. Gide, 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 tawag ane. Gidivide lang siya o e raised to x. Simplify lang siya. So, ang nabilin is y equal to x minus 1 plus c e raised to negative x. So, cancel lang na siya. Cancel na siya. Cancel na siya. Tapos, kaning c ni mo, diba, c over e raised to x. So, wait lang again, again. c over e raised to x, mana siya. So, that's just equal to c e raised to negative x. So, para masaka lang ni mo siya. Para wala kayo marag anything sa denominator. Okay? So, that is your final answer. Sige, so confirm na to using calculator technique kung tama ba tong answer ganina. So, you have dy over dx plus y. Wait lang. Yeah, so you have dy over dx plus y equal to x. So, tong answer na nakuha ganina is kane. So, again, ang first step, 
And so, in calculator technique, kapag DE ka, is to let X equal to 1.1 and Y equal to 2.2. Okay, so calculator. So, 1.2. Okay, 1.1, shift store X. And 2.2, shift store Y. And then, step number 2 is to get DY over DX. Okay, so asan na siya kwaon? Kwaon na siya diriya sa imuhang original equation. So, kani mong gihatag sa problem, i-rewrite lang niyo na siya. So, dy over dx is equal to x minus y. Okay, so to get the value of dy over dx, kanang x na 1.1 of y na 2.2, mo na yung i-substitute diriya. Okay, so gawas ang calculator. So, you have x minus y. Okay, then shift store c mo class. Then, using the choices, isolate C and compute DC over DX and DC over DY to get DY over DX. So, isolate C sa daw. So, wala pa man naka-isolate si C. So, itong buhaton is, yeah, i-isolate si C. So, C is equal to Y minus X plus 1 over E raised to negative X. Tama? So, isolated na si C na to. Then, after na mo, ni mo siya na-isolate, then compute DC over DX. On sa na siya class, derive lang ka sa calculator na to. So, gawas ang calculator. So, derive. Ano uh, man eh? Y minus X plus 1 over E raised to... Ay, wait, sorry. E raised to negative X. Then, imuhang X is alpha X ka. Calc. So, Y equal to 2.2. X equal to 1.1. Shift store A. Okay, then press up. So, diri ay napugkas na sa DC over DY. So, mong buhat nun lang is actually press up. And then interchange lang yung mong X and Y. So, ang Y, mahimong X. Ang X, mahimong Y. And diri ay sa ubos, ang X, mahimong Y. Calc. Then, ang mong X this time is 2.2 na. Mong Y is ang 1.1 na. Then, shift store B. That's step number 3. Then, step number 4 is negative A over B must be approximately equal to C. So, colon C. So, check na if almost equal sila. Negative A over B is negative 1.1. And C is negative 1.1. Therefore, class, kanyatong answer diri ah, is the correct answer for this problem. Okay? So, next video.